Welcome to another episode of Career Growth. Today we'll be talking about a career, a field which is considered traditionally by Indians especially to be the best option for boys especially. So Mukta, engineering field, what do you generally get uh, you know, from parents that why do they think that they should get into engineering, their kids should go for engineering etc. It's such a nice question that you've asked Chandni. When we uh, meet or even when we counsel most of the students and especially the mothers, the instant reaction why they have, why they are planning to choose engineering as a career option for their children the, rea- the reason is, since childhood, he loves opening all the toys, he loves playing with all the machinery, he, he tries to dissect all the parts that are there in the machine. So that is the only fundamental reason considered while selecting an engineering course. But the fact is, while you're selecting a course like engineering, you need to introspect your child needs to be strong in physics mathematics and analytical skills if you really feel your child needs to be successful in that career. So if these three parameters are in place, then engineering as a profession will be really good for the candidate. And another thing that we've heard or we get to see is that, you know, these days that uh, my child is really good with mobiles, my child is, you know, new mobile and he's able to really get into so many aspects, so many applications that even the parents say that even we don't know about. So is that a good reason to get into engineering? Uh, when When we select a career, all these are like gadgets. You need to understand the child may be exploring or probably learning by handling many of these gadgets, but not necessarily he will be very strong in the application of this technology. So one needs to be technically sound to be successful in any career. When we talk about mobiles or gadgets, they are just like, you know, handling it, operating it, and that's how they are learning. Their risk-taking abilities are higher than as we as an individual. So probably that's the reason they are able to handle these gadgets easily as compared to us. Okay. And another one that usually, you know, comes to my mind, a lot of people talk about it also, is that uh, if we are getting into engineering and if they have a goal, they don't really want their girls to get into uh, mechanical engineering. Uh, Very true. I knew of a case where the girl was really keen on mechanical, but the parents were insisting that she should get into IT. So is mechanical really not open for girls? Uh, we cannot say that mechanical uh, engineering is not open for girls. Definitely that option is open for any gender. But the fact you need to understand is when we talk about mechanical as a special specialization, you will be handling very heavy machinery. As a job profile, you may have to work at the job shop floor level. At that point of time, probably gender may, if it's a girl child, she may have to deal with the opposite gender. So it, the girl should be physically, mentally prepared to face these challenges which may come in her job profile. So if she is prepared for all this, be it mechanical, be it IT or any other specialization will not be a problem or a hurdle for her. Sure. Uh, I also wanted to know Mukta that uh, these days there's a trend that a lot of engineers after they're completing their engineering graduation, they don't really go in for ME so much, rather they move to MBA. Very true. Is is that a good option or what is the link? Why does that happen? Uh, Generally, nowadays the trend that we have seen is most of the engineers after completing their BE, they don't prefer doing ME, they preferably do MBA. But here the fact that you need to consider is you need to be very clear what kind of job profiles you as a person would like to handle. If you're interested in more of technical areas of job profile, then doing ME makes more sense. But if you're really interested in strategizing, planning, logistics of the technical areas, then doing MBA will be a real asset for you. Another one, uh, Mukta, is where should one do engineering? I mean, uh, is IT in, uh, IIT engineering or uh, what is it? Because a lot of students say that, uh, you know, when I ask them, what would you like to do later? So their answer is that they want to go for IIT. They say that I want to do IIT. So is IIT a course or what is it? Such a valid question that you've asked, Chani. And most of the times, be parents or students, they end up asking, I want to do IIT course. But the fact is, IIT is an institute 
that's not a course you get engineering courses in that institutes and that's considered as one of the prime institutes so students can consider like you know aiming themselves getting admission in iits but they need to also ensure that it's a prime institute so you need to make yourself that great you need to perform well in your entrance exams so the doors are open for you when you talk about iits otherwise you have also other private government autonomous renowned approved recognized government colleges which can which they can surely consider for themselves oh because a lot of people are under the impression or a lot of people that i talk to seem to think that if they are not able to do engineering from iit they may not really have good scope so that's a very good information that you brought out that you can go ahead for your engineering courses from other reputed institutes which are probably equally well and a person can make good Correct. career out and, of that uh, right. in fact uh, most of the parents and students these days end up saying iit nahi to kuch nahi so you need to understand that's one of the institute but beyond iits there's also life and there's also learning and knowledge available which they can surely impart for themselves another uh, major question or or very prominent question that uh, we come across uh, while we are talking with the clients is that uh, what is the good option should we go for diploma after 10th in engineering Correct. and then take that route or should we go for 12th so which is better mukta this is a major concern for most of the students who plan to pursue engineering uh like all the things has pros and cons when we talk about the routes definitely when we talk about diploma or after 10th 12th options both has its own pros and cons when we talk about diploma then straight after your 10th standard you can do your diploma and if there are seats available and your performance is good uh, in the diploma levels then you probably get lateral entry but that all depends on many other external factors too when we talk about after 12th entry one needs to score really good in his entrance exam so that he secures admission in the college that he desires and the specialization of choice may come his way so everything has its own pros and cons provided it all depends which risk the person would like to take when we talk about after 10th entry in diploma probably uh, lesser options may be open like after diploma immediately be option is open but if a child is still not sure engineering is there on his mind but if still he wants to keep his backup options open then it's any time advisable that he pursues 11 12 science and then moves ahead and clears the entrance exam and applies for the further course okay So uh, we've seen so many, uh, you know, myths being busted here uh, by Mukta. Uh, very common, very prevalent uh, with our parents and our kids. I'm sure this episode was very informative to you, and uh, you will take a wise decision with this information in your mind. Uh, if you liked our episode, please don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up.